Hi, only a few days I showed you the airplane that sucks, but today something that does not suck at all. What I have here is, I know, it's not super new, it's like two years old uh, topic, it's the Reptile S800 Flying Wing. A pretty small flying wing, because come on, it's only less, less than one meter wingspan, but this, probably this, is my best airplane so far. It really flies great, it's uh, wind resistant, and no matter what some people say, it it has really a pretty decent yaw stability, pretty cool uh, pitch and roll stability as well, and I really like flying this. I will show you today some of the things I... how I've built it and uh, how I solved some of the problems. Let's begin. First, let's begin with the radio. The radio I have here is the famous, infamous, it's really hard to tell, FR Sky R9. What? what stop. FR Sky R9 here under in this in this place I have the R9 Slim receiver, the one without telemetry, with the latest software because uh, R9 works good only with the latest software. Everything else is just total crap and rubbish. On this side of the wing, on the second wing, I have the antenna. Uh, antenna. Pretty awesome antennas from the Actuna. The link should be in the description if I will of course remember to put it there. And on the bottom of the wing I have the Eversky Unify HV. Yes, Eversky Unify HV. 5.8 GHz transmitter with a uh, uh, with a pigtail connected over here, antenna, so everything works like expected. By default, I'm flying with this transmitter on the 500 milliwatts. It really allows to go like 2-3 kilometers absolutely without any problems with the reception. And over here, a small touch, you see? I've put a small heat sink because this thing is really heating up a lot. And uh, I was kind of afraid that it might just die on me without proper proper cooling. On this side of the airplane, mm, old camera, the camera is really something very very old, it's the, how it was called? Let me re rearrange that. It's uh, Runcam PZ something something, it's big, it, it, you really cannot fit it on the modern mini quad, but really it has great image quality. Only the latest, uh, smallest, ca smaller cameras like, uh, let's say, Eagle, in my opinion, has something that has comparable image quality. Strange, right? Over here, uh, some ballast, because S800 is kind of designed to fly with the GoPro over here. But since I'm usually flying without a GoPro, oh, I need some ballast. Um, this is the original part that came with the kit, like this. I made a hole in the EPP, in the foam pad, put 60 something grams of lead into it and I can just swap this with the GoPro if from time to time I want to fly it. Now, mm, lead. Original lead made from this uh, fancy foam that goes over here is um, crap. Sorry, but this is crap. This is just too thick and there is not enough space inside, in the main compartment, over here, to put a battery I'm normally using, because I'm trying to go for uniformity and uh, use the same batteries everywhere, because it's cheaper, more convenient, you can swap whatever you want. So I'm trying for all my airplanes to fly 4S uh, 150 milliamp hours LiPos. Here some tattoos or, or, or something else. But unfortunately the compartment inside is designed to hold something longer and with lower profile and that is only at 3S. So, I had to print a replacement lid and attach this with some tape over here and over here, only to be able to put 4S battery into there, but it goes like this, 
there is no magnets like you know original design it's all some tape but it works besides that this is something I like very much as well. This is the Matek F405 Wing Flight Controller with integrated PDB. I've made a separate video on this, so it will not continue. It's really great, superb. It's just mounted over here with four nylon standoffs. I can just remove it, put it back together. Now, E. GPS. Okay, maybe like this. GPS, mm, I decided not to put it inside over here because there's not enough space, so I just cut the small hole in one of the wings, put the Batian BN880 inside, covered with the tape, and that's all. And now, the most interesting part, powertrain. What I have here in the, oh, this. Because I had to cut some foam from there, I had to reinforce to battery not to get rid everything. So this is just a piece of balsa glued and it helps to keep battery in place. Inside here I have the Ray Star 35 amp ESC running BL Heli 32, whatever, it's not important. It's pretty small, standard, almost standard multi-rotor. And the motor motor itself it's the T-Motor F80 2408 it's really huge multi-rotor rotor, rotor uh, rated at uh, 1900 kV it puts incredible amount of power come on they say they tested it at one kilowatt I wonder why. By default, it's flying the APC like it's not true. I don't think it's original APC or maybe a six by four, but aeroplane propeller with the aeroplane uh, profile of the of the blades. Great uh, cruising. The cruising speed of let's say fifty kilometers per hour is achieved by only something like. 40% of a throttle. If you put 50% of a throttle, it just goes uh, 60, 70 kilometers per hour. And on fully open throttle, it just goes through the air like crazy. You can do everything because it weights 500, less than 500 grams without LiPo. So with a LiPo, it's like 700, 750, and you can really do amazing stuff with this in the air because this thing powers, uh, it just gives much more trust that weight. So it really just goes however you want and, and really have fun. And it's pretty stable, like I said, in the air too. Um, in the pretty calm day at 200 meters, just cuts nicely through the air no problems at all probably right now you are seeing some fpv footage uh, probably the fpv footage you are seeing is from the extremely windy day but the hd footage that might appear from time to time was taken on the much calmer day and just goes smoothly absolutely no problems it's not even comparable with the nanotalon crap ah okay i have to stop talking about nanotalon but but whatever and what this is i think mall 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 is there a word mall i think this is more or less all for today and about the ace 800 i really like it a lot mm, not yet but Probably in the next version of the configurator, or maybe even in this one version of the NF configurator, I will put the profile for the pits I was able to... No, is there already? No, already! Haha, <laughs> I forgot. Uh, INAF 2.0 configurator will have the pit profile for this wing made by me from exactly this setup in which it really flies great, so no problems to tune. You can just use it if you will have one. Like I said, this is all for today. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, consider becoming my Patreon on the Patreon. That sentence made sense? Yeah, that sentence made sense. And until the next one. Ciao!